New this morning, artificial intelligence can feel like it is everywhere. Sometimes it's places you wouldn't even expect. It's important to be able to identify artificial images, especially ahead of the election. 13 on your side's Julie Koherrick joins us live now with a deep dive into deep fakes. Hey, Julie. Yeah, good morning. The new technology has a lot of problems from graphic images to fake political statements. That's why Michigan is at the forefront of AI legislation. I spoke to an expert who walked me through how to tell what's real and what's fake. You've probably seen them, but you might not know. Images like this, viral online, but non-existent in real life. If we have something that you're sort of questioning that it is this real, um, just sort of use your intuition. Denton Bobeldick specializes in artificial intelligence at GVSU. Professor interviewed. He used two free AI services to create images of our interview. I blonde hair reporter. Images like this show the creativity and accessibility of AI. Very easy as opposed to you, uh, you know, using your artistic talents. Another service shows the rules and limitations. When he tried to make me a young reporter, he got this message, flagging it as potentially unsafe. But if he were to pay for the service, he could bypass this concern. But there's also some negative things that can happen. We saw what happened with Taylor Swift. Pornographic, non-consensual AI photos of Swift went viral bringing to light the lack of legislation around AI. So how can you tell what's real and what's fake? AI still has a hard time with hands. It's not so much the hands, but it's the number of fingers. Let's go back to this image. Besides the fact that it doesn't look like us, you can see the program had a really hard time with the hands, whether it's the placement or the amount of fingers or both. Going into the 2024 election season, knowing what to look for might be more important than ever. Deepfakes um, are largely unregulated. Michigan is now, um, you know, one of the leading states. That's where Michigan's lawmakers enter the chat. So that our, our voters don't have to question every single thing that they see online. In April, the Republican National Committee released an ad to show how they see the future if President Biden is reelected. For Joe Biden. These images, realistic but entirely AI generated. It's disclosed in small print at the top that it was made with AI. This law means this disclosure is now required at the state level. We're asking that the disclosure not only say that it's AI generated, but also um, if the material is misleading. More legislation may be on its way. But it's a difficult issue because you're looking at the whole chain of events. To keep the law in sync with the new tech. So there's lots of different areas that could be legislated. But it could be only one key. It's a very difficult thing. To solve an emerging problem. Michigan is now one of only five states that has deep fake legislation for political ads. The representative I spoke to says the next step is regulating explicit AI images. Jay, back to you. Really interesting. Julie, thank you. And the chairwoman of the Federal Communications Commission is proposing that calls made with AI-generated voices should fall under the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. If the proposal is enacted, AI-generated voice calls would also fall under the purview of the act, making them illegal. And by taking this step, the agency would also provide state attorney generals with new tools to fight against these types of robocalls.